Yo, um, what's good, YouTube? Today's a tip video. Patriots playbook, ace win, tight end, PA Pats corners. Um, it is in the Patriots playbook, and I'm gonna be running this play against a really popular defense, which is um any coverage defense, you know, dime two man under is what I'm gonna be running it against today in this video. Um, really, a lot of people just been running man coverage because it's really great this year, and I'm gonna show you it against all coverages out of dime. Um, first, your play looks good, but we're going to make a few adjustments. We're going to put Gronkowski on a streak. We're going to whip out Wes Welker and flare out Steven Ridley. Um, the streak route is for, you know, pass leads inside or if he gets matched up with a linebacker. That whip route that Wes Welker is on, um, I change it from the stock whip route because that whip route rarely ever gets open. It takes too long to develop and you just might as well rather put him on a quicker whip out. See right there, he, he usually gets it every time. You know, Ridley's route is just for a blitz check down. If it's blitzing and you just need to get it out your hands, uh, most of the time when the opponent is blitzing, you know, just throw it out there. But this square route, I just hit to Brandon Lloyd. Look at the route. That route is straight fire. It's shaped like a V to the sidelines, and that route will beat man coverage every single time. It's basically a money route. Just look at the separation. Um, so, yeah, that's all the adjustments you're going to need on this play. You know, Street Gronk. Whip out Wes Welker and Flair Ridley and, you know, just run the play. That route right there, that um, post corner, um, it depends. It gets open about 50-50. You know, if the corner bites on the post real hard, like right there, he will be open. But beware because if you throw it and he doesn't bite on the post and he just falls the corner, it probably will be an interception. So um, be careful. And, yeah, so that's only my advice. Right here, he gets him again. With a dude like Aaron Hernandez, he'll beat him more times than not. So this is basically a man-beating play, you know. You don't. I used to roll with a Patriots playbook. I don't know more, you know. It's overused. Everybody's using it, either Patriots or Carolina. So you know, I just wanted to be different. But I do have a lot of money plays out of the Patriots playbook from when I did use it, you know. So look right here. He gets matched up with a linebacker, which will happen a lot of the times. And if you like the matchup, throw it up there. And you say, hectic. What if he's running fag D on my play? Well, I'm going to set up a fag D scenario. Say he's he's seen the play a couple times, you know. So he's going to throw a flat route. He's going to put Clemens on a flat route to cover that. And put Brian on a flat route and throw Van Bain up. So he's just running the ultimate fag D, putting the purple out for Brandon Lloyd's V route. Because you've been running the play all game, and he hasn't been stopping it. Well, you know, use all plays in moderation so this doesn't happen. But sometimes a fag D is somebody's base defense because that's just how they play. And, you know, just set up the play exactly how I told you the first time and just wait, you know. Don't ever get too antsy against a fag D. That square route, even against a fag D, the square route is probably going to get wide open most of the time. You know, when somebody's running fag D on you, you know, don't force anything. You know, be happy that he's running fag D, you know, because you have time to find a wide open dude. You know, more times than not, fag D, you know, fag D is not your friend. It's only your friend, you know, if you spring it on somebody. Um, but if you're running it the whole game, it's not going to be your friend, you know. Here I'm showing you the play against a cover three, which is a really popular defense also. So this streak against a cover three will get naked. Um, just pass lead it outside. It will it'll get wide open most of the time. And that's just the fuck nigga shit about Madden. You know, streaks will destroy everything. <laughs> So, against the cover three again, I'm showing it to you. It's okay to throw Ridley on a real route if you want. The whole point is just to have him cleared out for a blitz check down. And that little post corner will get in between the, um, the two deep blues. Um, I'll show you it against a cover three one more time. Um, that post corner will get in between the two deep blues or whatever it is. That flat round, that deep blue. They won't know who to pick. So, it will get in between it most of the time. But be careful. It is kind of a risky throw. But if you... But if you see it, throw it. Um, so let me show you gets a blitz. And this is where Ridley's route comes in handy. You know, he's blitzing. You know, he's tired of this. He's like, fuck it, I'm going to blitz everybody. Then that's when you hit Ridley. Because most of the time, Ridley's matchup is going to be in the box. And that quick flare, he won't be able to catch Ridley. And sometimes Ridley won't be matched up because of the blitz. You know, crazy. Let me show you a nano setup. You know, Ridley's uncovered. You know, most nanos have the running backs uncovered. A lot of them anyway. You set up the play just as is. You know, all these routes, especially with zero coverage, are going to burn. And just throw it out to Ridley. You know, you could have hit really any route. Just depends on how much time you have in the pocket. And guys, if thanks for watching. If you want more, let me know. I have a bunch. And it's Hector Reacts. I'm out. Peace.